I think you got in one day. Remember, remember this shloka. This shloka that he spoke yesterday about uh, what is the significance of Dhruva Maharaj's age, what wealth did Sudama have, what dynasty was Vidur born in, um, what good qualities did. Uh, Sorry, Sabri was a, a woman, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a, the start of the conversation I didn't catch, but... Uh, oh. Alright, so we take the responsibility of the temple, you have the headache of managing it. Okay. One person made a building ten stories high. Why are you jealous? Why are you questioning why he made it ten stories high? You also earn money and you also make ten story building or twenty story building. One person can become a minister if they put the effort in. Why are you feeling this envy and jealousy? Ask them. When did uh, Swami Maharaj give Gorgavinda Maharaj sannyas? <coughs> you heard, <laughs> have you heard of Gorgavinda Maharaj's name? There's a, com a question I didn't catch the first part of the question, so I can't. Somebody's challenging and uh, you have to challenge them back. There's one creature that lives in the water does not have a backbone. So, what do you want to do? Oh, a leech. A leech. A leech. A leech. The leech sucks the blood. Mm. It has a mouth on both sides. It very su sucks the blood. Mm. Well, there's two types of diksha. Anusthanic diksha and paramatmic diksha. Anusthan is the formality of taking diksha. So many people Swami Maharaj gave sannyas to, and so mo none of them, or most of them, uh, fell down, They're not there anymore as sannyasis. Prabhupada, he knew Mahabhagavad, they know everything, they know what they're doing. So he gave a lot of encouragement to these new disciples. First, you listen to what they are saying, and then repeat that same what they're saying to them. Swami Maharaj, he gave sannyas to who, when, how. 
the living entity is independent. Yeah. The Kalakrishna Das, he stayed with Mahaprabhu. He became involved with some gypsy girls. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, he went to catch him, bring him back. He was Mahaprabhu's personal servant. So the living entity is independent. By forcing somebody to do something, which is not natural, because people are envious. So, so she's asking uh, people ask why you give Harinam so quickly uh, so, Na Naam is so strong the power of the holy name is so strong it can change a person's life like in the example of Ajamil life of uh, Ajuma. The important thing was that he never committed Vaishnava pride. He committed sinful activities. But he didn't commit Vaishnava pride. <laughs> so it's not up to anybody to question anyone else why they're giving Diksha and Harinam or Harinam and Diksha. Why you should challenge them, why are you asking this question? The, the Sahaja Babaji's, they give the Siddha Deya at the same time as giving Harinam and Diksha. This manjari, that manjari. There's one brahmachari. They went to the Babaji Sampada and then came back again. <laughs> We give Harinam on two levels. One is to encourage, increase the faith. We give Japa Mala. Sarojini, which uh, disciple of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Sarojini. Where the instruction of Mahaprabhu is that whoever you meet, whoever you see, you should give them uh, Krishna Upadesha, means ask them to engage in devotional service initially by chanting the holy names. Where are we going? Yeah, chakra view. It's, uh, now the chakra view, what chakra view is? When Abhimanyu entered in the chakra view with the Maharatis, he couldn't get out. So this complex is a bit like that. Once you go in, you can't get out. Keep going round in circles. Like a maze. So 
The whole mob bar is very sad. You see the Rama in his